Hello? Okay, so who is who? Wait, huh? Wait, huh? Wait, huh? Okay, see, I can say it in the Chinese way, I just have to hear it first. All right, we also want to bring up our judges, Wei Tao and Chu Bo. Okay, so we are going to have Chu Bo. We're going to have you help them set up and let us know when you guys are ready to go so we can start the timer. And then I have you, lucky number, <laughs> Wei Tao, uh, you are going to be the one explaining what they're going to be doing uh, for the contest, what is the criteria for a success uh, that we're looking for. Yeah, a second. Yeah. Uh, they can show a very interesting attack. Uh, you know, in, if you visit a HTTP website, it means it, uh, it is not protected by HTTPS uh, in most of you know, bank websites. Uh, they will hijack your website okay. and uh, modify the website to uh, inject some malicious content, such as uh, fake news, uh, uh, Why'd you, why you have to bring a fake news? It's just I'm a journalist? Dang! Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, and uh, they, they, they also can inject a fake uh, login form. Mm -hmm. So you know what this is? I don't. Do you guys? <laughs> fake login form. In, oh, fake uh, login form. Okay. Oh, website. so where, where you put in your information, but yes. they're just trying to get your information to yes. get your password. Got it. Yeah. I've not fallen for one of those, luckily. <laughs> Yeah, and and this is a very their their attack is a very very powerful. It, it is not related to any vulnerability of the operating system or the uh, browser. They are attack is the basic you know for the functionality of Wi-Fi. Okay. If you are a Wi-Fi user, then you are vulnerable to their attack. Got it. Got it. And tell us what we should be looking out for on the screen. Um, because I know with the with the last one, there was a lot going on, and it happened so quickly. So here, what should everyone be looking at and paying attention to? Yeah, um, today the attack. Uh, um, so the judge Chu mm -hmm. will be the. He's gonna be the victim. Yeah. Are you ready to be the victim? <laughs> <laughs> okay. And will be attackers the website first. Okay. And and what is the? I know they're gonna be timed twenty minutes. Kind of explain yes. the the time process and, and mm -hmm. how how they're going to be rated as successful or not, or how successful. Uh, and uh, the first is uh, Chibobia shows uh, you know, a bank website, which is the bottom one. And then clear the cache, and, uh, and the begin the attack. Uh, Chibobia visit the attacker's website first, and wait around one minute. Okay. And then visit the bank website again. Okay. And then you, you will see the malicious login okay. form. And the attacker will get post password. Okay. They should finish this in less than 20 minutes. Less than 20 minutes. Yeah. All right, everyone follow? Any questions before we get started? No. No? Okay. Are you guys ready? Almost ready? Okay. I think not yet. Uh, so um, before we can start, we're going to visit the, uh, the normal website. So this is a um, HSBC website. Okay, um, you just switch. A bank website in Europe. <laughs> yes, this is a website from United Kingdom, a British website. This is website is just for for demo. In fact, you can attack any. HTTP website, any website in the, in the world. There's so many people on here, it's exciting. Uh, yes, I think we can call this website. Speaking of fake login pages, someone tried to scam me recently. Did you guys know there's a black market for Instagram verification? No. Okay, I just found this out. And I have a verification on Instagram, and someone tried to send me a fake login page, but I didn't believe it. <laughs> but my friend who sent it to me, she was hacked, because she believed it, because Instagram verification is apparently really hard to get. Twitter and Facebook is not, but it's just crazy. Like, people sell these Instagram accounts for thousands. Did you guys know that? No? Do you guys use Instagram? Oh, no one uses Instagram, okay. It's a thing. 
It's okay. Oh, uh, well, there's a lot of young folk in here. Yeah. You know what they say, Asian don't raise it. <laughs> no one's ever heard that? No? Oh, okay. I didn't make it up. I also saw it on Instagram. Yeah, I think they already. Which is why none of you guys get it. Yeah, Ready? I think they already. You can Ready? Tell me and I will hear the list. Okay, so I get you to do the count now? Yep. Yeah. Cool. I feel like I'm the sound effect person. All right. I'm going to do 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go! Yeah. Yeah, the neighbors. Uh, the attacker and the victim are in the different uh, subnet, so they cannot uh, hijack the, webs uh, the traffic directly. They will use some magic sub side channel to detect the connection. Basically, the attack heavily depends on the network condition, and because wireless here has a lot of interference, probably from everybody, so it's, it's going to take a little longer. Uh, it, it, and it also depends on luck sometimes. Uh, so we'll, we'll, have, we'll have to wait and see. And it's not the most reliable attack in the world, so there is a possibility that it might not succeed. But hopefully it does. like we have something. All right. Great. Yeah. Um, so I'm going, I'm going to close this browser and visit the, the, the down page again. Monday, right? First we have Lee squared, 20 seconds. That was less than two minutes. Two minutes yeah. yeah. Okay, let me just refresh it. Is this page? No. Okay. So this is the yeah. fake, in, fake login page. Right here, maybe we can now see it clearly, but here we go to two. One for you. Everybody have seen this? Get power in the HSP saver website. Yeah? Get power here. So, it was a success? Yeah, next step we are going to show everybody how they can get the password from from this one, from this attack. So, I'm going to just pick a random password and enter it. Right down in this in this plan. <laughs> so now, what are, can you kind of explain what they're doing? Yeah, a boy is uh, uh, typing his password into okay. the fake form. The fake form? And uh, yeah, and uh, Jin will uh, get the password and she will it to us. So does this mean you can get other people's money? Yeah. From their bank accounts? Yes. <laughs> you guys are giving me ideas over here. <laughs> this is very dangerous, yeah. Oh, and very then, dangerous. And, you know, this is the business website of uh, HSBC. Right. Yeah, so, it's very dangerous. Let's pull up the Chase website, that's my bank. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah. Uh, Who wants to volunteer? Uh, uh, just, uh, just now I said this is not a vulnerability of uh, their website. This is a fundamental um, weakness of the Wi Fi system. Okay, got it, got it. 
So it related to the client, not to the server. So using Wi-Fi to get in. Yeah. If you are using Wi-Fi, then those guys can guess your connection and put something into your website uh, traffic. And I felt guilty for using my neighbor's Wi-Fi. <laughs> Okay, so we don't show it to them, or we hide it? So they're gonna guess what this password is, and then we're gonna see if it matches up. It's already, I think it's already there. <laughs> it's, it's a good one, it's clever. Yeah, already there. But they, they can't see it, so. Yeah. So do we match up now? Yeah. In fact, I have to see it. <laughs> no one can see that far, don't worry. Let me get a peek over here. You still have memory on your phone? Yeah. <laughs> oh, he's been recording this whole morning. That's crazy. Yeah. Okay. Are we gonna show it? Okay. We're gonna do it on the count of three. Ready? Yeah. One, two, three. Oh! May the pond be with you. That's clever, guys. I like that. Yes. Okay. It's, it's officially succeeded. Succeeded. Okay, you know what that means. We have to pull up the. Oh. You got pawn! Yeah, there it is. Woo! Okay. Well, let's let you guys talk about what you just did. Um, I know he mentioned, just like Lee Square did, that there was a little bit of luck involved. Is that true, or are you guys just that smart? Well, uh. Even with a bloody nose, you're that smart. Wow, well, I think it's not you. Let's come out over here. Let's come into the circle, the center. Let everyone see Thank you guys. You. Uh, so, so um, if you if you work in the area of security, there's one class of attacks where there's a lot of uh, unpredictability, which is side channel. And this is precisely a side channel attack. And most of the time, people say, okay, side channel attacks are not reliable. Uh, you may or may not uh, succeed. Accuracy is questionable. Uh, and we're kind of fortunate that we actually made the first, very first attempt work. Uh, How often does that happen it, with you guys? Well, <laughs> he's like every time. Duh. We we we've, we've spent a lot of time optimizing, so uh, uh, maybe we've seen this before. So what would you have done if your first attempt didn't work? Well, I guess we'll have to wait for another minute and retry. Yeah. And judges, is there anything you guys wanted to add? I think, uh, yeah, in fact, uh, Chinyu has, uh, has done a lot of research work in this area. Yeah, actually, last year, last year we already presented a, 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 a of variation of this attack, yeah. which may be even slightly stronger. Uh, and, and this year we come up with a variation. So hopefully people will enjoy it. <laughs> May the pond be with you. Any questions out there? Yeah, I have questions. Uh, give this guy a trophy. Do you need a mic? I mean, I feel like we can hear you from yeah, all over there. Yeah, very lost. <laughs> I'm very sorry, you know, I see that with your skill, it can be easy, you know, steal money from a bank, right? That's what I was saying. Yeah, 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 right? Well, what am I supposed to say? <laughs> <laughs> He's never done it before. Well, I guess we're, we're, we're ethical hackers, so uh, uh, we're mostly enjoying the intellectual part of it. Not so much about the money part, uh, but hopefully this can monetize in some way, uh, such as maybe being here in Geekpong. What a respectable answer. Can you give them a round of applause? That was so honest. Wow. All right, any other questions out there? Anyone in the back? You know when you don't want to raise your hand and the teacher calls on you? That's what that is. Anyone in the back? Yeah, uh, hi, uh, I just got some question about the uh, demo you did. Um, so there's no background context information of the attack. Um, so my question is, uh, does it require uh, the attacker and the victim to be on the same Wi-Fi network? No, um, as we talked briefly mentioned in the beginning, it is a blind attack. So there's no way that the attacker sees any traffic between the client and the banking website. So it's a blind attack. Right. Um, so it works or encrypt Wi-Fi as well, I guess. Yeah, it doesn't matter. All right. Uh, like uh, over like uh, uh, say WPA, PSK, or enterprise security. Doesn't matter. matter. Doesn't matter. That's at the lower level. Um, as long as the TCP level has no encryption, then then we're good. Um, is it 
attack related to crack attack? Uh, you mean the Wi-Fi attack? Yeah, yeah, the no, Wi-Fi crack attack. The no crack relation to that. Okay. It's, it's not even a vulnerability like we briefly mentioned. It's not a vulnerability. It's more of a design feature of the Wi-Fi network. Okay. And it's really hard to change it. Right. Are you going to release any uh, information regarding we're, we're still in the process of writing a, a research paper right. as we are from uh, universities. So hopefully we are going to release the paper once it's accepted. We, we, haven't, we haven't even submitted it yet. Okay. Um, but hopefully soon. Thank you. Thank you. Well, we have a lot of time because they finished that so quickly. Any other questions? Oh, I see a hand right there in the white shirt and the blue lanyard and the glasses. <laughs> yep, you, hey. Uh, hi, my name is Jeff. Uh, just a follow-up question on that. Uh, is there a precondition or a limitation of your attack? Uh, for example, in which scenario it doesn't work, like what Wi-Fi uh, condition, what database condition, et cetera? Well, theoretically, it works on any Wi-Fi as long as it's 802.11. We've tested several different routers already, uh, and it, it's not really dependent on like, the operating system either. So it's not a flaw of the operating system. It's not a flaw of the, the browser. Uh, there's really no vulnerability to fix. Um, again, it's, it's, it's a feature in the Wi-Fi, low-level Wi-Fi network. And, uh, and I guess theoretically, as long as you're using Wi-Fi, um, you would have this problem. Uh, what if it's HTTPS? Well, obviously, if it's encrypted, then no. Okay. Uh, no. Thanks. All right. I think that wraps it up, right? Unless anyone else has any questions. Okay, great. Let's give them a round of applause. Thank you so much.